In this video, we are going to show you how to set a standard banquet table. Ideally, at the beginning of each shift, banquet captain or manager should conduct a pre-shift meeting to identify assignments or duties and you should be given a floor plan and or table setting diagram. There may also be a sample table set for the servers to mimic. If there is no pre-shift meeting, be sure you are aware of your assignments before you begin working. When setting up a banquet hall, first determine where the front and back of the room are. This can be determined by an entrance door, a podium, or a stage. This is very important for setting up a dining room. If you are unsure, check with your banquet manager, captain, or the floor plan. Once you get your bearings, you can set up your tables. Make sure the legs are locked in place. If they are not locked, the table can collapse. Once your tables are placed according to your floor plan, the first thing that you will set will be your linens. You always want the seams to run from 6 o'clock to 12 o'clock on every table. Cover the legs of the table as much as possible. Make sure that your tablecloth is even on all sides of the table. Remember, when setting up a banquet hall, your goal is to create a consistent line of sight throughout the room. Next, set your chairs in place. This will help you determine where to set your silverware. Designate a seat one at each table and put your salt and pepper in front of that seat. All chairs should be flush with the linens, not pushed under the table or pulled out. If you have an even number of guests, you will have one place setting at 6 o'clock, one directly across the table at 12 o'clock and the rest evenly spaced between the two. Each setting should mirror the setting directly across from it. When setting an odd number of settings, you will have one at 6 o'clock that will bisect the two settings across the table. When you place your silverware, always place your forks on the left and the knife's blades facing in and spoons will be on the right. Your table should be set outside to inside following the respective courses based on the menu. Silverware for the first course will be on the outside and silver for the entree will be on the inside. All china and silver should be set approximately one inch from the end of the table, making sure that each piece of silver runs parallel to each other, not skewed in, skewed out, or staggered. If you have two pieces of silverware, for example, the salad course or the entree course, then put them down at the same time. Do not make extra trips around the table. Make sure that you double check everything you place on the table, handle all silverware by the handle, all glassware by the stem, and all plates by the rim. Polish as you go. Once all the silver is down, you can begin setting glassware. Glassware is set right above the dinner knife. Check for water stains and lipstick stains before placing them on the table. B&B &B plates should be set on the left of your forks, but can also be set above your place setting. If there is not enough room on the table to put it next to the forks, it will have a knife placed on it. You can now set up napkins, votive candles, salt and pepper shakers, centerpieces, bread baskets, salad dressings, sauces, cream and sugar. Place any liners under any item that can drip onto the table in place with the proper utensils and make sure that the handle is always facing the guest. Napkins can be placed in a few different areas on the table depending on if you are presetting food or not. Make sure you know what fold you are using and where they will be placed. Be sure to set all tables exactly the same way. This convenient table lift is used to move tables in and around the banquet room according to the planogram. 